Okay, here we have post-trib moment number one. I'm going to just play a little bit here. Now today I want to talk to you about 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 because this is the chapter where the Bible warns us about this deception, this lie that Jesus Christ can come back at any moment and he warns us not to be deceived. Let me read it for you from 2 Thessalonians 2. Okay, now what he does here is he will read verses 1 through 4 right here and he expects the believer to think that this somehow disproves the pre-tribulation rapture and why? Right here is the key to it. The day of Christ is at hand. And see, he wants you to believe that the day of Christ is a reference to the rapture. It's not a reference to the rapture. Steve Anderson is showing his ignorance of scripture here. This is a reference to the second coming and the millennial kingdom of Jesus Christ. The second coming begins the millennium and it goes for a thousand years. Remember what it says over there in Peter about that one day is as a thousand years? So the day of Christ is not the rapture. Okay? He's a liar. Steve Anderson is a liar. Up here he's talking about the rapture. Because the rapture is revealed in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 16, 16 through 18 and also in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 51 through 58. That's where it's revealed. Okay? Paul is saying that he is beseeching them by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him. The rapture is up here. Then he says that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter as from us as the day of Christ is at hand. Okay? Paul is saying I'm beseeching you here about the rapture. Don't worry about people telling you that the second coming is at hand at the end of the tribulation. Paul is actually warning about false prophets like Steve Anderson right here. Now let me just show you something here. <clears throat> what they'll do then, what Steve Anderson does in this video is he says, now there are two things that have to happen before Jesus Christ comes back. And of course he'll say the rapture, which it's not the rapture, it's the second coming. First of all, there's a falling away, the apostasy. That's what we're in right now. And then they'll say that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. And he goes on to read verse 4. This is the Antichrist. So they say, see, there has to be a falling away, and the Antichrist is revealed. But what he won't show you is, he doesn't read verses 5 through 7 for a very important reason. I'm going to read them. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things? What's Paul talking about there in verse 5? He's talking about up here being the first letter to the, the believers in Thessalonica, Chapter 4, verses 16 through 18. Paul is saying, don't you remember I told you about this stuff? You know, in 1 Thessalonians 4 and 5, you know, his first letter to him. But then look at verse 6. And now you know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. The Antichrist might be revealed in the time of the church age. The time where the body of Christ is still on the earth. There's something withholding that the Antichrist might be revealed in the time of when Jesus Christ is still on the earth. And Jesus Christ is on the earth, by the way, in the form of his church, of his bride. Okay, now look at verse 7. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work, only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Look at this. And then shall that wicked be revealed. So in other words, there is something letting. Let means to hinder, to stop. And that has to be taken out of the way before the Antichrist is revealed. Now what's going on there? Well, that's the body of Christ. The he here is not a reference to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is omnipresent. The he is a reference to the body of Christ. I've been over this passage many, many times. I've taught on it, expository studies and things. This is a reference to Jesus Christ, the body of Christ. You cannot have two Christs on the earth at the same time. Read the book of Revelation. Show me where the body of Christ and the Antichrist are both present. They're not there. And in, in fact, when Jesus Christ comes back in Revelation chapter 19, before he even touches down on the earth, he casts the Antichrist and the false prophet into the lake of fire. So, this right here is actually proving the pre-tribulation rapture. And you say, well, I, I still don't believe it. Okay, let me just show you another little proof here. Revelation 
chapter 5. Okay, let's see, where is it at here? Um, here you have the throne. I beheld and lo, in the midst of the throne, four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain. You know that whole thing here? There are 24 elders, you know, four beasts and four and 20 elders. Now look at this. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals, for thou wast slain and hast, and look at here, redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. Who is this group that's in heaven? You see, that's a problem if you're believing Steve Anderson's lie. There are saints in heaven. They're not Old Testament. See? Every kindred and tongue and people and nation. Clearly, the body of Christ is in heaven before Revelation chapter 6. And look, And I saw and behold a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. The first seal is open, and the Antichrist is unleashed. But in Revelation chapter 5, you have people in heaven that are redeemed out of every kindred, tongue, people, and nation. You see, Steve Anderson can't cover these scriptures because he's a liar. Don't fall for the lies of Steve Anderson.